Hello, everybody. This is Catholic Dad, episode number 263, Traditional Catholics, Now's Your Time. And so uh, I've been talking about obedience and uh, when you should uh, revolt against the church or when you should actually give the church some pushback uh, recently, but um, I've, something occurred to me recently. It seems like, uh, you know, the uh, Dubia Cardinals uh, uh, questioned the Pope on, on uh, Morris Letizia, and they want some clarification statements, and it's coming out that the church is full of uh, pedophiles and sex offenders and that there's a, a cabal with the um, Vigana letters uh, in the, the church hierarchy and the Curia are essentially all taken over by people that are not very good people, and perhaps this is communist infiltration of the church. Well, uh, it's becoming more apparent to the average Joe within the church, May, or maybe not the average Joe, but certainly the people that actually care and read about the church. So more and more people within the Holy Roman Catholic Church are realizing that uh, it's really infested right now with a lot of um, uh, bad movements. And so uh, traditional Catholics, now may be your time. And so, you know, you think about it. If the church is uh, going in the wrong direction, you would think the traditional Catholics would walk away from the church and become more insular. And, um, you know, like I'm talking about the, the Sede Vacantis or the SSPXers or the people that are actually operating outside normal relations with the Roman Catholic Church, like they would walk away from it. Well, I would challenge them, not, like now may actually be the time because the people within the church, the average parishioners are now starting to realize it. So maybe it's now it's time to turn around and start running at the church. Because uh, if you guys can come back, you, you uh, maintain your traditional ethics, your, you know, your sacramental lives, and, uh, and you start storming the church, right? Then suddenly people might be like, holy cow, like, yeah, like this is what we want. You know, it might actually change everybody's mind. Um, <clears throat> and um, so now might be the time. It probably wasn't the time when uh, nobody uh, saw that something was wrong with the church. Like, they had, like all these sex scandals and whatever else, and the Vigana letters and the Dubia Cardinals, and like um, <clears throat> the St. Gallen Mafia. Like, nobody knew about that. So if you guys stormed back in, they'd be like, go home, right? But now may be the time, like, people might actually be like, whoa, it's time to reform the church from within. And, like, so I was actually doing some reading. There's almost 600 SSPX um, <clears throat> priests out there. Like, what if they came, went to the Vatican and say, we want back in the church and we want to, like, operate our normal relations, the things that we've been doing, and maintain our um, parish communities the way we've been maintaining them. Uh, will you let us back in? <clears throat> you know, that might be a really good thing. Then suddenly you could bring all these people back inside of the church and uh, then everybody's ranks will grow. And uh, that divide between uh, the normal parishioner within the Roman Catholic Church and the really traditional parishioner, parishioner might actually start disappearing. And then tr the, uh, the normal average uh, Joe Schmo parishioner might actually start realizing that the traditionalists aren't so unusual uh, themselves, you know, and I'm not just talking traditional parishioners like myself, because I'm a traditional parishioner, but I accept the Novus Ordo and I, tr uh, I accept the, uh, the Trinitarian Rite, um, but I'm talking about uh, the normal parishioner, or the traditional um, uh, parishioner that is only Roman Catholic, or is, I mean, uh, only the, the, um, the Latin Rite, or only uh, operating outside of the uh, normal uh, normal relations of the Roman Catholic Church. Like, maybe it's time to turn around and come back. And so this is just something to think about. Like, if things get really crazy within the Roman Catholic Church, which it feels like they are, and it feels like it's going to get uh, crazier and crazier and crazier, that's the time for the traditionalists to storm the church by force. Come back in, ask to be brought back in, and suddenly you got 600 priests and a whole bunch of, like, uh, half a million community members that suddenly the church doesn't even know what to do with them, and so they're just going to let them operate their own normal lives, and that will give people within the church another option. And so, anyway, this is Catholic Dad making you think about it. Please like or subscribe. Uh, traditional movements, we love you, um, and uh, I think it's really great that you've maintained the tradition of the Roman Catholic Church, um, but boy, it would be great if you stormed the church by force and try to not take her back, but actually try to influence her in a good way. So, uh, there, therefore, uh, live a sacramental life, get the Mass, and pray the daily rosary. God bless you all.